Hi, we're Stephen and Jess, and up until 2020, our days looked like this, and this, before our lives completely changed and we had this. Meet Little Hunter. We then spent last summer converting a van into a tiny house. We then packed up our home and moved out to begin a lap around Australia. In the last episode, we ticked off some massive bucket list moments, and this week is going to be just as fun. Hey everyone, just quickly before the video begins, I have some exciting announcements to let you know about. So the first one is last year we launched Flying the Nest Academy where we sit down and teach you guys a wide range of topics on how we kind of do what we do, like how we travel for work. The first one was a video editing course that we launched last year and I was just blown away by the support that you guys gave. Is the Flying the Nest Academy worth it? This is why I joined the Flying the Nest Academy. Is Flying the Nest Academy worth it? Yes. Hey, my name's Amanda and I just completed the Flying the Nest Academy's video editing masterclass and I learned so much. Now we're excited to announce the second one that just launched this week. It's an Instagram masterclass so we teach you how to grow your account and monetize your account and it's live right now. Plus, just for this week, we're giving you 30% off the course. I'll leave all the links below. And the second exciting announcement is just last year, Jess put together some presets. So these are one tap and one click photo editing presets. So you just tap on there and it completely changes your photo. We launched our first pack last year and you guys absolutely loved it so much that we just launched a brand new 2021 pack. Just came out called On The Road. 30% off as well just for the week. I'll leave all the details below. And thank you so much to everyone already that has supported us through our shop. We just cannot thank you enough. Now let's head back to the video. It's 5.30 in the morning and I can't believe we're getting up for this reason. Sleepy grins under patio. So we may or may not have just woken up at silly o'clock to a uh, drive to a caravan park. This spot is the most popular caravan park I'm pretty sure in WA seeing as we had to get here at 6.30 just to get a spot in line to hopefully score a spot at this park. First in line, that's a good sign. They said you need to wait till 10 to know if there is an actual spot for you. So the three hour wait begins. The caravan waiting queue is already starting to fill up and it's 7.30 and I think there's two vans that have moved in just next to us. Let's see, hopefully enough people leave today. Every person leaving means there's one more spot appearing and you can see the line is starting. My gal said that she like to hear his crazy rhythm sound. It's honestly crazy that traveling around Australia in a motorhome camper van has resorted to this because nobody can leave anywhere. So it is just so unbelievably busy. But it's worth it when we show you how cool this place is. I just broke my plunger. Whose idea was it to buy a glass plunger? Damn it. I was so looking forward to a coffee as well, being up so early. It's alright, we'll just do instant coffee. Still coffee, gonna suck not having that plunger because I think it's still a few more weeks till we get to a major city. So Hunter wanted to show you guys why we woke up at silly o'clock this morning <laughs> to um, try and get into a caravan park. 
for $30 a person. You guys can see that this has better views than most hotels do. Wow. I take the long way home if it meant I'd go walking by your door. Oh, Together we in some pretty cool pools, some natural springs, some warm ones. This one's more on the chillier side, but 10 out of 10 for view, huh? So, uh, well, we we're having lots of fun in the pool, yeah? <laughs> Mum has gone on a very important mission because apparently somebody broke the French press. <laughs> hey, it's not funny. Oh, she so good. It. Oh, she loved it. I had to go on a very much more important mission because someone broke the French press. Yeah. So today has just been all about family fun day. We have spent all day in the pool. Hunter has been having the biggest belly laughs ever. <laughs> <laughs> and she just had the longest nap I think she's ever taken and the sunset we're heading back to the pool can't resist it the pool at sunset has to be the best time oh yeah it's so cool it's all they have live music so we're watching live music from the pool with the most amazing sunset. Look at that. Best pool ever. I'm so glad we came here. Oh, was that cheesy? <laughs> I just love it. It's so nice. I know with the musician. Yeah. We should go get some dinner. Yes. Alright, I know the pool is good, but that looks like the perfect spot for a picnic dinner. This musician brings on the sunset. So, bit of a fancy picnic. May have gone over to the restaurant and then sneakily taken the food away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, it's just over there. But, oh wow, this is such a cool spot, hey? Fish burger for you. Grilled fish for me and Hunter. Yum. Enjoy. Also kind of cool. <laughs> Caught the glimpse of the end of the musician. A couple of songs till the end and just... Amazing, the sun is fully set and perfect time to be having dinner. And celebrating one of our last nights in WA. Oh, that's so true. No, heading off to the NT soon, a new state for her. You yeah, haven't been there, have you? <laughs> oh, cheers, Hunter, cheers. Cheers, Hunter. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, are we going on another plane? Just forever pointing. Where's the plane? Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the next day. A little bit bittersweet today. One, it's actually our final oh, day oh, here in okay. Western Australia before we head on out. But two, we've got another epic day sorted for today. I think this is, is going to be the best way to end our time here in WA. Hey, Hunter is just so excited. Where's the plane? <gasps> Let's go. Ready? Before we say goodbye to our home state of Western Australia, there was just one last bucket list we needed to check off. If you saw our last vlog, we headed out with Kingfisher Tours to see the unique Bungle Bungles. So, on our final day, we saved ourselves the eight and a half hour drive that would surely break Cooper, and once again hopped on a little charter flight to take us to the north coast. Once again, landing on a very makeshift airport runway. Yeah. Slide out. <laughs> That's the easiest way. Going all right so far. Touch down. I didn't realize we we're going so close to the coast. No. How cool is it with all the half gum trees, half palm trees? So unique. Well, this is a very uh, unique arrivals and departures lounge. We've just landed, and now we have a four wheel drive journey to the next spot. Hunter, how are you already covered in red dirt? Look at this girl. And the day hasn't even started yet. Shhh. <laughs> 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 
So today's event, we've got quite a few things planned. Of course, we did the epic flight out here, the four-wheel drive. Got a few other things planned, but first of all, we just have a little 15-minute walk to Little Merton Falls. And it's one of the few spots we can actually swim in. Because a lot of them have crocodiles in them, so I'm getting my kid off and I'm going for a swim. Even though it's winter here, it is not winter here in the Kimberleys. It is like so hot and it's only like 10 in the morning. And this is the perfect way to cool down. Right at the bottom of these falls. Such interesting landscapes because of course this part of Australia right at the top so close to Asia. So we're getting our gum trees mixed with palm trees and red dirt. It just doesn't look like a real place. It kind of looks like Australian Avatar. It's just so, such a unique landscape out here. Wow, so just inside of the falls is this little cave and there is some incredible local indigenous artwork. And do you know what's so fascinating about the artwork is that it's not just from one particular area in time. They say it can date between 12 to 20,000 years. So a painting, some artwork could have been placed on here and then someone could have come back 5,000 years later and added to that, which makes it, wow, even more incredible. What a cool stop. Oh. <gasps> yes, we got in the helicopter, ready? Blow her mind. Oh yeah, thanks. So, out of all the different she's, parks we've been staying at, <laughs> she's pointing out the other helicopter. This is literally Hunter's lifelong dream: is to go into the helicopter. She saw them at Lake Argyle taking off at the hall. She sees them all over Kananara, and today we promised her we're gonna have to jump into a helicopter. And she said, "Doors off, please." <laughs> we've never done a doors off helicopter before. <laughs> Helicopter. Oh, we're in one, Bubba. <laughs> yeah, there's one out there. We've been thankful enough to have done a few helicopter rides in our life, but this was hands down the most memorable, and I'm not sure how to explain why. Whether it was the doors off giving that extra sense of adrenaline, Hunter's excitement, or the mesmerizing views of the Mitchell River producing layers of water pools as they tumbled from one to the next to create an epic waterfall. took us an hour and a half plane ride, a 30 minute four wheel drive and one doors open helicopter ride to get here. Welcome to Mitchell Falls, probably the most famous waterfall in all of Australia. So I'm currently watching Stephen and Hunter, they're off swimming in a little fresh pool. Say hi mum! Say hi mum! <gasps> mum! Of course! The moment Hunter saw water, she was like, oh my gosh, I need to get in this. And we're like, okay, off you go. But I've just set up a little picnic for them, ready for when they get back. And we've just found a little shady place underneath a rock. And I really just feel like right now we're in the middle. We're in the middle of nowhere, just surrounded by the most amazing nature. Like I can't believe people even found this place. I do just think it's crazy how we flew an hour and a half today. Like when, we, when we're in Europe, we could fly an hour and a half and be in another country. And today all we did was pass, I think we saw one road and the rest were a bunch of gum trees and palm trees, which is kind of random, but <sighs> just taking it all in. I feel like these are the days that we're always going to remember. Oh, what has mom set up for you? Oh, hey, Hunter. How is your swim? Yeah, I've got a bunch of fruit for you. What do you want to try? Do you want a blueberry? I'll squish it for you. Blueberry? Strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> so Hunter, are you ready to go to a brand new state? You're going to be going to... <laughs> Someone uh, has tasted her first cherries. Is that yum? <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed she tried cherries. <laughs> <laughs> Morning birds are 
are singing and the clock chimes are ringing. I need you right here beside me. Someone's had a big, big sound. And the pillow talks so right here beside me. Oh, me and Chloe. Oh, it's pretty cool, huh? Oh, yeah, it's coming too. Mom's coming, it's cool. We did it! Say bye, plane! Difficult day seem to Alrighty, Hunter. WA. Pretty fun. Check that off. So we're gonna say goodbye to WA. New state tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to the Northern Territory! And Hunter, you throw your hat. Ready, Hunter? One, One two, three. Two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, here's your hat back. <laughs> Alright, let's see if they let us in. Woohoo! Brand new state! <laughs> Second state on the road trip. Shall we walk across into the Northern Territory? Let's do it. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And. <laughs> Yay! I need to do the step. Imaginary line. Step. Boom! Yay! <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Feels good to be in a brand new state, seeing as we've kind of been in WA for the last year and a half. 4,415 kilometers on our trip so far. Up oh. and driving across. <laughs> so looking back on the last month of Western Australia, we can't believe just how much we've been able to see so far. Driving the same distance as if we did a road trip from Los Angeles all the way to New York. This chapter was filled with so many firsts. <laughs> the first time we left home. You want to have first a time Jess drove the van. First diesel yeah. spill. First breakdown. Okay, you get the point. But aside from learning so much so far, it's already confirmed our love for van life. From waking up on the beach to swimming with beautiful giants, finding strange spots for a shower, and finding a new love for an Whoa, air fryer, as well as cheese. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some pretty epic sunsets, hidden swimming holes, and even just the past week, checking off so many bucket list moments. We are just so unbelievably thankful to times like this where you just appreciate so much that you get to call Australia home. As we say goodbye to our home state and head out into the wild west, or shall we say, the wild central of Northern Territory. So if you guys are interested, right now Australia is pretty much seven mini countries, which means if we want to go to another state or another territory, we essentially need to go through border control. So as long as we haven't been to any hot spots in the last two weeks, it should be fine. We should be fine. We have to fill in forms and everything. Yeah, you have to fill in forms, let them know everywhere you've been and then go through it and then they'll decide if you can come through or not, which is, yeah. I suppose a way that we've been dealing with what's been going on in the world, but I don't know, it's exciting. Let's go through a border crossing in Australia. 